Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 173 of this Let's Play Prophecy of Pendor. In the previous episode, we fought the rather epic Siege of Marleones, where the Dishar armies clashed with our own. We had raised an army as the Marshal. Uh, we marched to its aid. We were thinking of attacking Valombre, but their siege came first, so we marched to intercept, and we th crushed them at the walls, and now we're basically crushing their remnants. We're part of the way through, but as you can see, we do already significantly outnumber them. So this is more or less just mopping up at this point. But that does not mean that we can rest easy just yet. Ooh, water level. Easy peasy. <laughs> Was I just saying about not resting easy? I lied. Um, everyone hold fire. Fortunately, they have more of a bank on their side than we do, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. So we're going to put our infantry kind of halfway in, put our cavalry here, and our archers. Should we put the archers on the flank? Yeah, that'll do. No, in fact, I'm going to put the cavalry on the flank. And the archers behind. Yeah, that's better. So cavalry will have troops that can actually fight. Let's pull you back just ever so slightly. Like so. You guys are all getting into position. Archer. You the archers, you are the archers. You guys come over here. Alright, are we ready? Give them hell. There we go. Hell is being given. I think they are trying to come around us though. So we'll shift the infantry across a little bit. Just to put them in the center. That should do it. And you guys are horribly slowed down, so you'll die quite nicely to my long weapons. Have a nice mix of two handers and sword and board. Plus, of course, we're in the river, so our archers are being able to shoot over the top of us. And when their inevitable cavalry charge does come, it's going to be somewhat softened. Okay, more than just somewhat. It's going to be completely dampened. So this should be a very, very easy fight for us. We have goaded them into attacking us. We hold the river. This would be just like holding a bridge in basically any other situation. <laughs> Let's counter charge, just so we can cut them up while they're in the actual river. But we are apparently letting them get to shore, which is irritating. Will they have multiple waves? Yes, they will. And here they come. So we'll just hold our position and let the archers do their thing. Right. They're all firing? You should all be firing. Probably do it spreading you out, not you. Ow. Let these guys come in at us. Cavalry looks like they are mostly melee as well. Uh, let's take this charge, actually. Uh, no, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. Leave you there. The infantry can take the bulk, and we'll wait until the bulk of their army is in, and then we can send the cavalry. Actually, we can send the cavalry over on the other side to go after their archers. That's a better plan. So I think this is probably the... yeah, this will be the last of them. So infantry, you may as well counter. Off you go. Most of you are sure already. No, don't go that way, go this way. Idiots. Here is a flank. So flank. There you go. Right, 
means we can take down their archers with relative ease. Are you guys running? You're totally running, aren't you? And he's got a shield on his back, so I probably won't be able to kill him. And now my own troops are in the way. Uh, not quite. Got him. Anyway, that is the end of this battle. Jolly good. Then I think we'll march on Valombre. Once we've seized the loot from this fight. Might as well try and take Valombre while we're at it. And all because Caden Bahadur Khan didn't make peace when I offered it to him. He lost like three extra towns. And there we go, victory. Huzzah! Oh, no, that wasn't quite it. But for this one, I'm just going to tell you to dismount and charge. Actually, no, I'm going to tell you to get in a really big line. One really, 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 really big line. Ahead of the horses, preferably. Maybe about here. That'll do. Stupid horse. Oh, don't tell me. Arrgh, stupid formations not working. Right, big line. Yeah. Big line. Come on. There you go, you're getting into a line. Marvellous. Now we're going to do to the AI what the AI likes to do to us. Which is basically a full envelopment. Full on charge. Archers, everything, just go. Close the distance. And just butcher. If we lose anything, I'd be quite surprised. He says as Anson falls, and he himself is about to to a bunch of recruits, or peasants, or whatever they are. Just because I'm at the front, I can't swing my sword. You should know better by now, Mordred. Not your hours. Sorry. Is any of them try and run? Nope. And there we go, victory. Two dead. Really? Squire at arms and a Vakavi Kral. Mm -hmm. Alright. Andre Khan, you are free to go because you are honourable. Brennus. I'll let you go. You are also honourable. There's quite a few honourable lords here. You will take prisoner. Oh man, so many escaped. Fouchier. Marshal, I'll let you go. And then a couple of people were saved. Not actually that many. Any nobles is usually my first question. A couple. Some adventurers, I'll take them. Nobleman. Highlander. Uh, how many of these do I want to take is the next question. A fair number, I think. So I can just stick them straight into the garrison here. And then the rest can go to my lords. Who have very kindly accompanied me to this fight. Don't want the horsemen there. You can keep that. I will, however, take the captives. Marvellous. And loots. Not much. Probably because we're actually only a very small portion of the overall army that fought here, but I will take everything. So I can sell it, because I'm in a town. And there we go. Done. Good fight. Good, good, good fight. Let's sell this. Except there's no money here. Armor merchant has some... An arms merchant should should be able to buy the rest. Oh yeah, easily. 
Okay, and there we have money once again. Good, 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 good. Was there any food? A small amount. A small amount is better than no amount. Uh, Hormond. I do indeed have people to sell. Sell that. You, 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 you. You, you. Okay. Leave. Party. You. Ransom. Done. Okay, and then Molly and itself, I will leave the troops here. Just so it has a bit better chance of holding off an offensive for a time. Did I give Molly to myself? I think I did. If so, then I can tell it to recruit people. Always come back later and clear up the garrison a bit. One eight Marleyan's plate. It's better than what I'm wearing. That is pretty nice. In fact, that is very nice. Sweet. Uh, recruit. War room baggage train. That'll do. Marvelous. Oh, and Marley owns it. It needs a chapter, so I... Oh, I do have the money for it. So yes, I will build a chapter here. Go to the castle, speak to you, and then set up a chapter of the Griffins here. Then I could actually give Marley owns to someone else. No, I wasn't going to do Griffins. I was going to do Silver Mists. Except I can't, so that needs a Qualys gem. So I probably shouldn't do Silver Mists. I should do Griffins. Right. No. Whoa. No, that didn't. I was expecting that to take a. I don't mind. Raven Spear are good, but I'll give it to someone else. Um, I was expecting it to ask me, like, are you sure you want to do this? And it didn't. Because I was expecting it to say, you need a Qualys gem. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh well. Like I said, it's fine. Um, I'll probably give it to Roland. Have I already given the other stuff out? I have. Uh, except I think I might want to give these away. What can I give? I could give Ravenstern. Although that's currently my only source of... Hmm. No, I'll keep it for the time being. So I already get Ravenspear from Poinsbrook. I could give Poinsbrook away. That's probably a better idea. I'll need to think about that. Uh, in the meantime, I think it is time for us to go to Valenbrave. Although one more thing I want to do is check the arena to see if there are any other tournaments going on, which I might wish to go to just Valenbrave and Ishkom. So as soon as I take Valenbrave, I can join the tournament. So I am basically conquering cities just to do the tournaments there. <laughs> right, let's go. Pendor campaign's looking pretty hardcore. Actually, let's no. Yes, I can go to Foxstead. It's not though. He's he's dead. Right, I'll go to Bramberg. All I want is some food. Buy food. Apparently, Mowbray Castle is not attached to Mowbray. Huh. Interesting. That's right, I was going to give Roland um, Valenbrae, because that's where the Dawn are. I remember now. They're still going on a killing spree. <laughs> I hear an idiot then. Oh well, let's continue. <laughs> what kind of garrison do you have here? Ooh, a very, very big one. Now, this should be a good fight then. Loads of wyverns, loads of bladesmen, loads of warriors. 
spearmen hunters uh, mid range not great but not terrible just so many of them prepare ladders we'll wait a while for the rest of the army to arrive wait two lords four five lords six seven lords oh, especially as Roland's here all right then let's do this I do wish it told me how many troops would take part all right infantry there archers there cavalry there hold your fire until you're in position stand closer oh this is one of the maps that we actually made so this is Abuva's good work going on here I've never actually sieged this town since it's been made by uh, one of the devs fire by all means fire Bloody hell, we're taking a lot of casualties. Thought you'd be a bit closer. Then I can bring you lot a bit closer. Then I can bring you lot a bit closer. And there we go. Let's see how this siege goes. Not much defence there. I have a feeling this is actually going to be quite an easy siege, I'm afraid. anyone actually shooting? Because you're welcome to. Our front line's getting torn to pieces. You lot aren't shooting, why not? Fire! guys fire next man who doesn't shoot I shoot rather I execute this man if you don't shoot right shoot come on fire the hell <laughs> um, you shoot if I tell you to charge Really? Well, this is bloody silly. Let's see if we can reset this and actually make it happen. Let's try that again, shall we? This time I won't tell you to put your archers away. Most of the problem is that you decide not to fire from closer than the stakes, which is possible. Though that would seem unlikely. No, I think that is the problem. Yes. Firing. What the hell? Any tiny fragment of my archer shoot. <sighs> well, this is going to be a horribly bloody battle then. All I can think of is there's a bug of some kind somewhere. 
I'll have to get the others to look into it because I wouldn't even know where to start. See what I can do about thinning their archers ranks. Except of course we've lost a hundred men already just from the start. Oh, if we get knocked out here, I'm going to be so annoyed. At least they're wounded rather than dead, mostly. They can be recovered through rest. Man, this is going to be horrible. We've lost 120 to their 85 just because we're not shooting. That's utterly rubbish. Utterly, utterly rubbish. Because usually in sieges it's my archers that do all the damage. Especially in this defence where there's just not many crenellations. Hmm. I wonder if it's scripted, because it's fairly weak. Don't know. I'm just going to have to do the best I can at clearing these walls. Because my troops aren't going to do it. Are we up already? It looks that way, doesn't it? Losing lot, lots and lots and lots of troops here. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Well, I'm definitely going to leave a garrison here, because I never want to fight for this again. Because I can guarantee you the AI won't have the same problem. Especially against the Dashar, where basically everything shoots. And yet we can't shoot back. Well, if I lose 200, I'm going to withdraw. Thankfully, I have rather more men than that. But yuck. that was. Don't know if the screen flickered for you, but it did for me. And now I'm having trouble shooting past the uh, two knights of the dawn that are kind of guarding the wall there, forming their own crenellation. <laughs> Losses like 250, 270 for 154. Thankfully, still mostly vassals. Now, I do have a lot of vassals here, but this is going to weaken my vassal army for a long time. Thank goodness for the surgeons. may need to withdraw to uh, Valombre after, sorry, Javik's home after this, in order to recover a bit. Just don't understand why the archers won't shoot. Very bizarre. No, I'm almost out of ammo.
Got 30 kills. And there we go, done. Next wave, you know what? If I'm out of ammo and I'm the only one shooting, then there's no point. Still 600 odd left. We still have a good number. So let's continue. Maybe I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to let you attack. Yeah, see, now you're shooting. Not like you should be anyway. All of you lot should be shooting. Why aren't you? Oh, here we go. Was I just being impatient before then? I doubt it. Seventy eight for hundred and six, seventy for seventy four, bloody hell, sixty three for seventy three. I have no idea how many troops I have left compared to them. Not enough. They're down to two hundred and fifty. How many do I personally have now? Oh, not to mention my. Oh no, they're not dead. Or something that was on the field that was buggy. I doubt it. <laughs> you gonna shoot now? No, that would be far too easy. Never mind. Forty for sixty two, twenty four for sixty three, thirty one for sixty one, nine for forty five, two for twenty three. And there we go, victory. Bloody hell, that was ridiculous. And Leslie was wounded towards the end there, so I haven't. I lost a lot of troops. Uh, did I? Yeah, I lost a lot. Not as much as I perhaps thought initially, but still a lot. Anyway, it's ours. I can give it to Roland. Uh, take those. Any nobles? 
that. I can probably grab most of these troops. Some Vicavians, so clearly Bodice lost at some point. Or no, it might have been the uh, Pers Persinoe people. Take the Fierds Vein, we'll take the randoms. We can just leave them in the garrison here. Maiden Cav. No, I don't want the Maiden Cav. I want the bandits though. Axeman, warrior, farmer, peasant, recruit. I'll take all of them. The rest can go to you guys. I'll defer appointment. And now I need to join the tournament. I'm going to do that off camera. I'll fight the tournament. And then... We'll continue next episode. Well, that's it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, then please do like and subscribe. If you have any tips or advice for me, then please do leave a comment in this section below. I do try and read and respond to pretty much everything there. So I look forward to hearing from you. That's really put a downer on things. That is really irritating, that siege. Wow. Why weren't my archers shooting? Anyway, they are left down with four, five, six, six towns. I think Pendor are definitely on the up and up currently. Although, yeah, like I said, our lords took a pounding, as did we. That was our elite army, unfortunately. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.